2023, Bakari is another Nautana to rule Nigeria after Buhari. We are building a formidable team ahead 2023. Pastor Tunde Bakari, the senior pastor of Citadel Global Community Church, has said a Northern Hausa or Fulani can still emerge as Nigerian's president in 2023. Bakari said the emphasis should be on competence of the next president and not the zone producing him. Speaking on channel's television, the clergyman stressed that there is nothing wrong with the North with the North still producing Nigeria's next president. He noted that political parties should field their best candidates and allow the electorates decide. According to Bakari, let the best of the best emerge. It doesn't matter which part of the country the person comes from. Anyone plunging into election in 2023 is just plugging his head inside hot water and therefore you must go with a team and not go alone. Very shortly, you will see the formidable team that we are pre presenting to the nation, like a shadow cabinet. These are the men that will do it. We are meeting right now. They don't even understand what is about to hit the nation. It is going to hit it big time in a positive manner. I have heard all kinds of arguments on rotational and zoning. Some are saying Olusha Gwabasanjo plus Good Luck Jonathan, that's 14 years, and Umaru Musayara Dua plus Buhari is 10 years, and that the North still has four more years at this moment. What is needed is a person who can do it. Political parties should bring their best forward. Let the best of the best emerge. It can go to the south, it can go to the north. It is only one seat. If it's an Igbo man, so be it. If it's a Yoruba man, so be it. If it is a man from the northern Aosa or Fulani, so be it. I am saying that personally or and passionately. Okay? Pastor Sineba Kari, you have said it all, but that is your own. They said um, freedom of speech is allowed, but do you also know that freedom of speech has limits? Because this thing you have just said, now if I was close to you, I would have choked blood into your mouth. Because you were the same person who told us then that Buhari was our messiah, that we should vote him in and we'll see how Nigeria would change drastically. Although your words were right, but your tactics was wrong. Your words was right because Buhari actually changed Nigeria drastically. He took us back to the 70s. That is what he has done to us. He took us back to, Ni to the Nigeria and when Nigeria had not even gotten an independence yet. That is what he did to us. So I wouldn't blame you for saying that, but for you coming out now to come and tell us these nonsense words you are bringing out of your mouth now, then it doesn't suit you at all. You don't even deserve to come out to speak to Nigerians. If not that you politicians are so shameless, you have no idea of remorse or fear of God in you. Who even made you a pastor? Anyway, we all know that pastor is just a title. Not everybody is a man of God anyways. Let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this article. Bakari, where do you stand? Another president from the north for more killings. You are a disgrace for what you represent. A disgrace to himself alone. He said, let the best emerge. All we need is the best regardless of where he or she comes from. We need the best for Nigeria. No, ta um, triba no tribalism, okay? Why someone here is saying, this devil incarnate again that brought Buhari on Nigerians. Exactly my take. Bakari is a very confused man. Poli political fake pastor in Africa. <clears throat> We all know that is what he is. God bless you, Emeka. A hardworking Jew is welcome if he can perform. Bros, you are a real Christian by this comment. Not those ones that all what they know is insults and abusive word. I'm a Muslim from North. We are not happy about this administration. But we still have faith in them. The Almighty God is on in the on control, okay? And I say he didn't oh, he didn't okay any not and he only said it's high time we just state of origin and allow the best of the best. Okay, here to me means you, my opinion, are returning for a northern president. 
this should help us understand the meaning of this statement. Mr. Bakari, you are a useless man and a satanist claiming to be a pastor. God will soon disgrace you. The reason why people are so angry with Pastor Bakari is not far-fetched based on what he told us then that he had a revelation that our Messiah is going to be Buhari, that is what he said. But how were we supposed to know that the Messiah he was talking about was the Messiah for the Fulanis and not for the other citizens in Nigeria? Look at what they've done our country into, into a burial ground. Everywhere is full, filled off with people's blood everywhere. Killings are going on on a daily basis. There is no iota of remorse in their words. And he still has the ghost to come out and tell us and they are planning on Oh goodness, this man is insane. The reality is that whosoever takes over from Buhari has my utmost sympathy. He is inheriting a completely collapsed and divided country. I don't care where the person comes from. Maybe it's even better for another Nortana to come in and clean the mess that this Islamist misfit are living under Buhari human life is dreaded. He is a shock. It's a shocking, arrogant, colossal failure of leadership. Who, who is Bakari, the shameless he goes pastor, northern part of the country? Don't need your campaign. What has he said that is wrong? Everything is wrong because his words are wrong. His face is wrong. His mouth is wrong. Everything about him is wrong. We don't even want to hear anything from him. That is what we are saying. So he should keep every words to himself. I agree with Pastor Bakari if only we can take sentiments away, whether Muslim or Christian, but one Nigeria. You are a fool. This is another gross hypocrisy. The major problem is the Islamization of Nigeria. The perpetrators don't care what the damage or the life destroyed in the process of actualizing this goal the pastor knows this and any other stakeholder in this country knows this it's just the hypocrites that are supporting them well i know that there is no way that we are going to allow these people to fool us again for the second time how i wish to subscribe to this suggestion of mr bakari this can palatably palatable where we have strong institutions like development countries. Look at how PMB shared appointment, MDA. If power still remain in North, the rest of the country will be starved to death from appointment insecurity and hyperinflation. Still, anyone who must be next president mustn't be jihadist candidate, okay? You have said it. We all know that Islamizing this country is a no-no and it will never happen because there is, if they're even going to do Islamized part of Nigeria, that will be the north and not uh, the south or the uh, the eastern part of the country. Never, it's not, never, never, it's a no, 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 it's not going to work. Pastor Bakari, please keep your opinion to yourself. You're not interested. Well, you can go to the comment section and share your own take and opinion on this article.